Oh, excuse me, investors. I was just enjoying a nice, cold, refreshing glass of water because I miss our product so much, our fresh juice product. Um, for everyone who doesn't know me, my name is James Karens. I'm the founder and CEO of Fresh Juice, and I'm here to talk to you today about the two plans that we have going forward. With your generous fundraising and your generous investing, we really have two options on the table. We have our delivery option and we have our store option. Now, right now I'm going to discuss a few factors that are influencing this decision. And I'd like to call your attention to the delivery area that we're discussing for the deliveries of our products. We're talking about a 100 kilometer distance between the store and our customers. And that's not just 100 kilometers in a straight line. That's 100 kilometers in a radius around the entire store. And please forgive my drawing, but this is an example of the radius that we're talking about. And if we have fresh juice in the middle of this radius, and this is 100 kilometers, we're talking about a radius of 31,400 square kilometers. Now, since we're in Toronto, we're assuming we're close to the waterfront, we can cut off a generous third of that area, which brings me down to an estimate of about 18,000 square kilometers to deliver to. In my opinion, that's an incredible amount of area and a struggle that we're going to deal with. So to kick things off, we have a lot of factors that are influencing this decision. I'd like to call your attention to three, and I'm going to call these the three C's. First, we have cost. So our next day delivery within 100 kilometers, that can go up as far north as Innisfil, which is quite far. And since we're offering the next day, we're going to have to have those products prepared. There's going to be high labor costs, even gas. The cost of gas right now is absolutely through the roof. And it would just be a very, very expensive gesture for our customers. Now, on the flip side, we have establishing our store in a city of 800,000 people. And if we're going to establish a good location with foot traffic in a popular area, potentially a trendy area where we get lots of customers, well, that's going to be reflected in the rent price and it's going to be very expensive. So on both sides, they're both associating high costs. We're going to just going to have to pick the right cost. Second, we have convenience. Now, I will agree that for our customers, the delivery option is much more convenient. You order it online, you get it the next day. Yes, very convenient. However, we also have to consider the inconvenience for our own business. This is going to cost a lot of money. There's going to be a lot of labor involved, as I mentioned. There's going to be a lot of driving involved. And it's just not really feasible because the cost of us delivering that product is going to be reflected in the price that the consumer is paying. And eventually it's just going to get too high for a lot of people. On the flip side, the shop is convenient for us because we have everything in, well, it would then be two locations, but we can involve everything in that one new location. We can make everything, we can sell everything. It's a done deal. For consumers, it can also be a convenient location if we choose the right spot, where there's the foot traffic, as I mentioned. If you're going by and you want a drink and you see fresh juice, that's convenience. That's how we sell our product. I believe that both options can be convenient depending on where we chose, choose our location. Finally, the third C is competition. Now, there are lots of other people in the delivery space. There's Uber Eats, there's Skip the Dishes, plenty of other huge competitors who have already established great brands. They've already established customer bases. They're all doing the exact same thing. Having our own store gives us the chance to really stand out, to be unique, to do our own thing so that we attract a specific customer base and we can hold on to that customer base. Now, I'm going to discuss our marketing strategy. So I'd like to pose a question to my investors, to our investors. What do students and young professionals, our main customer base, love? They love to take the edge off. They're stressed. They like to go out on a Friday or Saturday night and party and just have a good time and forget about the stresses of school and work, bad bosses, that kind of thing. And a large event that's happening this summer, ideally, considering COVID, is Sugar Beach. And this is an event put on by 102.1 The Edge. They're a very trendy radio station in Toronto. They play rock, classic rock, indie alternative, that kind of music. Very popular. They throw a huge party at Sugar Beach, which is in Toronto every year. Not sure about the COVID situation, but ideally it would happen this year. And we want to be involved. And our strategy is we're going to go to Sugar Beach 
and we're going to sell our drinks for a dollar. Now, yes, we might experience some loss, but ideally the benefits that we would gain from that situation where people buy our drink for a dollar at a party and they say, oh, I love this. Let's go find this location in the city or let's go find this new location and buy this drink again. That's how we establish our customer base. I would also like to do this in our new location. So in a town of 800,000, there are going to be events. In my native town of Stouffville, um, which is, has a much smaller population than 800,000, I believe we're about 50, we still throw small events with live music, not really much the partying, but the restaurant experience, eating, drinking, having a great time. I would like to associate our drinks with that same event. We sell our drinks for a dollar, we get the name rolling around. We get people saying, I love this drink. Let's go find this location. And there we establish our customer base. I would also like to brand our name as healthy and fresh. I believe those are really the two key words. And I want to do that in a few ways. Um, word association and marketing techniques like using the color green is a great example of associating our name with being fresh, with being healthy. We also need to focus on the trends because sustainability, health, those are two really trendy things that are going on right now, which is a great thing in especially the drinks sector. So if we can take advantage of that and associate our brand with those terms, we are going to really strongly attract that young customer base. That leads me to our marketing initiative, which is going to be called the Fresh Lifestyle Initiative. I want to sell a lifestyle. I don't want to simply sell a product. I want to sell the Tom Cruise Ray-Bans Wayfarers. You're not just selling a pair of sunglasses, you're selling a lifestyle. You're selling the Tom Cruise image. I want to sell the fresh juice image where we're fun, we're trendy, we're sustainable, we're friendly, we're delicious, we're fresh. All of these different sorts of words and terms associated with the brand. That's what I want to get out there. And a way we're going to do that is after we've established our customer base or attempted to establish our customer base at all these different events, we're going to have the lead singer of a Canadian band called the Arkells. I'm sure you've heard them on the radio. They're very popular on the edge, actually. The radio station involved with Sugar Beach. Their lead singer, I believe his name is Max. He's a fresh, young face, very popular, very trendy to open our store for us. And yes, there are going to be some costs involved with that, but in the end, it's worth it because of that recognition of Max, who's this great, young, fresh, trendy guy opening our store and associated with our brand. Just to wrap things up for you, um, thank you for your time. We really need to focus on being trendy and fresh. Trendy and fresh are the two big words of the day. Once we do that, once we've established our customer base and our brand name, we're going to establish some great things. Thank you again for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on my personal number. Everyone have a great night and thank you very much.